been right. Something is going to eat a root. Won't be me though. Grab it and stuff. Yeah, she likes them. Trying to get a cool looking thumbnail for you guys. <laughs> Rachel wanted to climb on my nose. So. Unless they're cooked. That is a piece of Latoya Hanamabilla Sumika. Where's the bread? We have a baby soon. I got somebody watching already. Tonight, we're going to do some transfers. I'll show you guys a new cost effective phone to uh, <clears throat> do some things. All right, we're going to be transferring some Carabina Alitas, some A. Bicular Gerensis, some Versicolors. <laughs> And I am currently out of cooking a subscription. I found these. Actually, Sarah did at Dollar Tree for $1. So you can take an ice pick, look three holes here, three holes here, and holes all the way around the outside. Around the outside, around the inside. We're going to take a mix of. Gravel and oh, gravel and uh, the kind of substrate that I had over from another job or another case. What a syrup! Yeah, look at that one of Sarah's hairs. It's funny. Quick setup and transfer. Here we go. Recycling my substrate. Make this pretty simple. Yeah, sawtooth oak leaves. These teas. It's been hello. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Anthony, how are you doing, friend? I'm doing tra transfer tonight. Did you all hear just in? Or this moment, morning, it's 4.03 some places, 3.03 some places, it's 3.03 here. So I'm going to take these leaves, put in here like so. I'm going to make this as simple and as quick as I can. Let's see. We're going to just put a leaf. A leaf. We can have a hug. Preferably a one of the taller one, but a no leaf. A no leaf. A no leaf. And a leaf. Then I'm gonna take these green cups. Just put a green cup where you can fill it easily. The cup has come off of a, uh, a bottle cap. Sometimes I use simple things because I'm an unbeliever in recycling. So we just take that like that. Put that there. So for six dollars, man. Using recycled substrate already had. We have now created new homes for tarantulas. Very cost effective, if you ask me. A3M MKLA 94M in UK. Awesome. I'm glad you're with me. All right. Now um, check this out. I'm going to just fill these with water. So okay, if it overflows a little bit, I don't want to wet the leaf because I don't want mold. 
getting any so I could have set them up off cam, but I figured heck, everybody is sleeping. Maybe I can do some stuff for you guys and girls. Overflowing just a little bit. I don't want those species to go dry. I don't want mold either. I got more videos that I've been trying to upload for you guys too, but I haven't been able to. All right. Got to have a clean surface. Transfer stickers. I'm going to start with a Caribbean Alita. These rubber stickers are the bomb. They are so easy to use. So easy to pull off and put right back on. Not even funny. Now, for one dollar, remove the sticker. That's a pretty sweet setup for a Carabina Lita. And I'm just going to try to take this out without it running away. Um, stuff in there with it or not. It's just going to have a new home. This is the Carabina Lita, what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that very good or not. Greg Rose from UK. Oh, we've got two UK people in here now. Yeah, this is a Carabina Lita. I'm going to try to just run her or him out of here into the new enclosure. Yep. That was pretty smooth. Pretty smooth transfer. And an ice pick is what I made the hold with. A bottle cap to recycle. And then a leaf off of one of my trees that I heated in the oven. It's still green, but dried. Very sweet. Here we go, leader number one. Here we got a Abiculara gerensis. I haven't seen them these strange little in quite some time because uh, this, one, this one happens to be on top right there. Maybe you guys can see. I don't know. Bear with me a minute. I'll give you all a good view. Particular endurances. Your sticker don't stick properly. You can always on there. Which is good too. Don't have to be perfect. Let the train is happy. There's a particular endurances. Let you guys will see this beautiful tarantula. Hopefully it won't run away. Won't run away, buddy. Can y'all see that all right or not? Hey, from North Carolina, just found you last week. I love your frogs. That is awesome, Nathan. I'll uh, show you a frog here in a minute. I'm normally known as a leg spore wheel, but on my phone it comes up as my name. Awesome. Eight legs, four wheels. All right. I'm going to try to do a smooth transfer for you guys. I'm just going to put this here and then we'll let him walk in there. Yes. You see that? Makes things very easy. It's not difficult to transfer tarantulas. I like showing how I do it because it's so easy. And out of every 150 I transfer, maybe. I lose one that I recovered pretty quickly. Speaking of frogs, this is a giant African pixie frog named Jabba the Hut. Absolutely centrifuge. Huge. <laughs> Keep you an update on the other tarantulas. We're going to be doing a transfer of all these soon. That's some cool shit or what? I deserve a like and a share for that. I do believe they are growing and growing and gr 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 growing. Yes. Those are Ceratogris darlingi. Ceratogris darlingi. Yeah, I bred those myself. These that I'm transferring, I did not. The, uh, Sorry, Tigris Darlinga, I just showed. I did breed those myself because I'm totally awesome that way. <laughs> I had to toot my own horn and put my own feather in my hat. But, of course, do right. 
I heard another Carabina Alita. Carabina Alita. I don't know if they got Dollar Trees over in the UK. But for all those of you in America has Dollar Trees. These things are these are the smaller one too. There's a bigger one like this. And it's still a dollar. And uh with an ice pick, it saves you from melting holes too big. Absolutely awesome. This is Mikey's Caribbean Alita. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to try to be as less invasive as I can. I mean, I'm ripping its roof off its home. We're going to try to transfer this very carefully. I'm just going to put it on the edge and touch it. Touch it. Let it go. With you. These are screw lids, so you want to be careful. So if they're webbed up in the top, which they do sometimes, that's why I got a leaf in there. Hopefully, leaf. That way they won't uh, mess up nothing. The spider is disappeared. There it is. There's some little legs right there in the bottom. Right there. Um. Oh no, I did not. I did not breathe these. Some time ago. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember how long it's been, but I will be breeding these. These are my breeding stock I bought for breeding stock. Three watching, zero likes. Come on, friends. Need a like every now and then. Really likable guy. Look at this. You don't want this dirt on me, though. Everybody see me and hear me clearly. Well, I got to fix my computer. It pauses every now and then. It should tell me good morning. The weather that they lie about. So here's another Caribbean Alita. I'm sure y'all it's home. See how that home webs up? Absolutely amazing, right? My connection is unstable for some reason. It just said... Yes, yes. All right, I'm glad y'all can hear and see. Here, me no lead. I want to rip this thing from its home now. Let me help. And there it is, all watered up, not wanting to die. I'm gonna try to put it here and let it let it fit, run for its life to its new home. And there it goes. It has successfully escaped. It has successfully escaped. There it is. It seems that it escaped. It'll probably make a home inside of this leaf when it finds it. Very cool. Caribbean Alita. This one was Mikey's. Let's put that right there so I can put his tag back on there. All right. Then we got, got two more friends. Here's the Caribbean Varsity Color. I'm doing this transfer tonight because i got different ones to transfer and you might get to see them a little bit better you find just moving too much let me see all right buddy six watching two likes thank you for that oh whoa there it goes what care of me now we're seeing what care of me now we're color i love how they <laughs> It's a typical Bercy for you. And, oh yeah, it did fall on the leaf. Lovely. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And there she goes. Oh, what's a she? I do have a mature male Bercy color now. And I also have some gay tarantulas. Monus and Tropus Balfouri. I will be, um, I'll be uploading a video that Sarah took. I haven't got to see it yet. After this, I want to upload that so you guys can see that um, that little clip on Badass Reptiles and Birds page, Facebook. Yeah, hit, just just hit the like, people. Thank you, T's. Um, on uh, the Badass Reptiles and Birds page, we uploaded <clears throat> a short clip of that, but Sarah's got another eight or nine minutes worth of them chasing around each other and everything. So y'all might want to see that. 
Very, very interesting watching two males trying to figure out where they're going to put the pedibulbs on the other male. If you're into that kind of thing. Wouldn't even put stuff up there like that, but it's just too damn interesting not to. This is another Carabinolita. And the last one that I have to transfer. Oh, you see how the web is? I'm going to try to pull this web out here where y'all can see how strong this is. It's like unbelievably strong. It's like grabbing a cotton ball. It's unbelievably strong. This is the biggest one we have, by the way. Oops. This. I don't want to upset her too bad. Oh, oh there it goes. It's in there. It's in its new enclosure. Here we know, Lita. You can't beat these $1 containers. Only downfall to buying them in Alabama is there's a 10 cent tax on the dollar. 10 cent tax on the fiat currency that's only worth 2 cent. I don't get that, but either way, it's still a good value. All right, so that does it for those. Now, the rare horn baboons that I bred, I have to transfer them to. They have molded out faster than I thought they would. Get a mess here. I'll show you guys one more time. Absolutely amazing. I'm trying to get into the light. Nathan Sumter. Oh, the like button is <laughs> somewhere in there. Uh, at the bottom. Check that out. These are 135. 135. Count them. Count them. Are you counting them? Saratoga Starlingi, also known as the Rear Horn Baboon Tarantula. Created. And my image and my likeness by yours truly. Yes. 135 new tumbles on the block. If anybody's interested in those, they will. Well, they're almost ready now. They're little baby tarantulas now. I'm fixing to transfer them. Probably get one more malt on them. Feed them something small. And that will be it. <laughs> Anyone, one person watching, have any questions? You probably shouldn't do these live so late. It's just when I'm up. Click the cost then like then click live chat. It's awesome. Z's T, you're the one who's watching me. Is it some turn? No. Hmm. Yep. Any questions, anyone? Anyone? We've transferred six tarantulas. We've got 135 more to transfer. I do have all the containers made up for them already. I have all the containers made up for them. We will be breeding a Carabina Versicolor soon. I'll have them available for you guys, babies, at some point. Um, let's see. I'm looking for a adult female Monocentropus Balfouri because I have two adult mature male fe mature males and they're ready to breed and i mean they're breeding each other i'll be putting that video up in a little while Pac -Man, please. yeah i wish i did have more pac-mans i do not they have all perished most of them around six years of age um lost my last one i right, sure i do have i do have a different frog though i have a cuban frog and then I have the other frog that you just seen. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. He's down there in the bottom. Down there in the very bottom of that pipe. Did you get to see that Cuban frog? I have 12 T's. Most of mine. Oh. Well. That's kind of sad. To 
here you don't have very many T's. Um, and tell them it's doing great. See the man, clean it. Babies, yeah, the pet, uh, the Cuban frog, and the pixie frog is the only two frogs in our collection right now. I am looking into getting more pixie frogs and I uh, recommend them to anyone. They're more durable than Pac Man frogs, they live longer, they grow a lot bigger. Like any baby chicken, baby rabbits, damn, they can eat just about anything, they're unbelievable. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? I'm also fixing to breed the um, Brachiopelma homora. I was going to move in with a morphine, but he wouldn't have much room for my collection. Mm -mm -mm. Have to build a uh, build on an addition. <laughs> Had to build on an addition. So keep it's okay. Keep your uh, keep your heavy breeders, and you can get back collection going in no time. Yeah, it is late. I got to get up early in the morning. Um, I mean it is morning already. Let me see. Oh, this PR menu. I have to be breathing shortly as well. We got lots of breeding projects going on. Versicolor, Abic Abic, PR Minus, got pumpkin, pumpkin patch out on breeding alone. This girl is bred already, and she's got an egg sack in there, I guess. That I'll have to dig out and make room at some point. I'm on time this Labor Day COPs. The Singapore Blue also is going to be, um, also needs to be bred. Turn off for that one. Let's order in here real quick. Slide it with blood. We like it a little, a little moist in there. Very fast species. Hot venom right here. Um, that was a wild caught adult female bigger than my hand. When I got it, it all, all over me and it bit me. Um, I got to transfer all these. They're all pure nuts. 10 of them, and two Bassiatos, and a piece of Busca, Indian Blue Dwarf. I'm going to stay for a while. Let's see, I've also got to breed the P. Rufalata and the P. Ornata. Um, pretty much sums up what I've got fixing to be bred here. Just bred her. To make a shoot in the beginning of this video. She's bred right here with LP. Waiting on a sack of her. Look how big she is. Absolutely huge. There you go. And yo, if y'all are just tuning in, we'll be getting off here in a little while. So if you're just tuning in, we will. This bird. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You eat stuff that's loud and lost in the morning. That's your problem. Yeah. All right, friends. I am fixing to get out of here because I got to go try to get some sleep. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not. Share. There's something for everyone on my channel. Scar is good. Or real good actually. Well, I'll show you before we go. There's Scar. He's sleeping. I see Scar. He's in. He's in pre molts. I appreciate it. Very dangerous snake. Really, uh, I don't like messing with him when he's like that. He's a good one.
He is good. Hi, my friends. I got a tomato frog and a bullfrog like yours, too. That is awesome, Nathan. Um, I want to breed them pixie frogs so bad. I saw your frog video last night. I'm trying to build a rain timber now. Do you have one? No, I don't have one. I was going to get a rain timber, but when my Pac Man's dying and Pac Man's are scarce around these parts i just haven't never gotten no more i've been uh been up into tarantulas mostly a few snakes and uh that's been about all i've been doing now i might get a rain chamber one day though i need to breed my pixie frog i'm going to be working on an outdoor enclosure for him during the spring and summer that's got everything that he needs i'm gonna have to give me four or five females and see if i can get some cat bowls going also, I will be giving away maybe tadpoles or tadpoles with the legs of Jabba the Hutt because I've had him for a long time in my collection. He's loved by the world, and they're very expensive, and I'm going to have probably three or 4,000 babies, so I want to give away some of those babies that way. Instead of people saying, I bought a giant pixie frog from Edward Tyndall, and it was one of the most famous pixie frogs in the world. Everybody can say, Edward Tyndall gave me one of the most famous frogs, babies in the world. So that'll be feeling really good. I will be selling some, but out of 3,000 of them, I can afford to give some away, you know what I mean? I'll be looking forward to that if I can ever get my hands on some females. I will be going to a show on... The 12th, 13th, or 14th, 12 and, thir 12 and 13th, I think, of this month. It is a Repticon in Georgia. So if anybody's in that area, look look me up and uh, see. I will be bringing some baby spiders with me um, for that show, for trade or sell or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be cool, Nathan. But, uh, out of every egg sack I got, and just about every breeding, I don't do it with my snakes, but well, I do with some of my snakes, rat snakes. Uh, I can do giveaways on them, but um, when I have thousands of tadpoles, I'll definitely be giving them away because uh, y'all are giving me your time, so I like doing it with my fans. Eventually, I'll be able to give every fan that's on my channel something free, which is cool. And a lot of you guys have bought stuff from me, and I appreciate that. And, uh, we didn't do too good with the empty gold. This is what we got left because uh, our horse was sick. We were dealing with him while she was eating the babies before we could uh, transfer them, so we didn't have very many of those. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six, and I have seven up here that belongs to somebody else. I got a whole box up here that someone has bought from me. I'm gonna just a bunch of spiders that I'm holding and waiting to ship. Peace, love, happiness, and a pile of shit. <laughs> I love that, Melvin. I like good shit, right? I'm gonna be installing this decal in my truck today. My back window says Edward Tindall YouTube. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Spreading peace, love, and happiness. And all good shit. And this is going to be right by all the good shit on my back glass. So that's going to be pretty sweet, right? Pretty sweet, right? All right, I'm going to upload the video when I get off of here about the gay Balfouris because they're actually breeding each other. And that's funny as hell. They don't know where to put their petty palps, and they don't know why. Each one was tapping on each other. It's, it's crazy. I'll have to be there for that. Um, we're just tuning in. Don't forget to look at the rehousing and transfer of this. It's cost me $1. Well, $1.10 because Alabama's 10 cents tax law that sucks. But $1, basically. So we were able to transfer all them. They got a little bit bigger container. I'm fixing to transfer all of the pokies and have an entire pokey rack. Right now we have Avex and 
different types of AVIX and stuff up there. These will be joining that. We got different OBTs and stuff over there. I don't know where I'm going to put all the pokies yet, but I'm fixing to have a whole wall of pokies because just because I'm, I want a whole wall of pokies. I love them. Uh, these I fed off cam, unfortunately, but they're doing absolutely awesome. These are the communal. You see how big they are? They're growing faster as a community than the ones that I have in individual containers. I have no idea why. I mean, it's totally badass. What do you guys think about that? Leave that in the comments below. What else do I got? Oh, yeah, I have one male scorpion. I should go. I'll probably be watching. I have one male scorpion. H. Arizonasis. Arizonasis. Yeah. And he needs a mate, but I don't know if I ever get one or not. Yeah, there it is in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But he is in there. Now watch out. Watch out. Now watch out. Yep. And then Tampos, Tampovidius, Macaulas. Yeah, these are getting big. I want to see some. I'll show y'all guys some cool feeding real quick because I was gonna feed these off cam, but they're nice and some that. That's just ridiculous to feed this badass spider off cam. Oh shit! Y'all see that? Whoa! Look, people, spiders are waterproof. This is water going right on his head. Didn't have one on my face. See the big orange head? Fixing to get swollen whole like egg roll. Well, I'll tell you. They call it or they call it. I called it, friends. I called it. Y'all thought that was totally badass. Let me know. Seven watching and three likes. Oh, my like buttons are hitting. Whoa. Dude, put, put more water in here. I'll show you the, the kill shot, don't worry. Whoa, stop kicking. I love to kick here. Hey man, I'm hungry. Really quiet. Not bridges. Oh, damn. All on that, friends. Hold on. Sorry. Having issues. These roaches smell like onion. They do. They have a scent just like an onion. That's great. Watch this. Watch this onion flavored roach. I think maybe he's hungry, but he must be in Fremont. Yeah, we're going to call Fremont on that one. How cool is that shit? We can try to get somewhere. Oh shit, he's going somewhere. <laughs> Flying like hell, but he ain't going nowhere. I don't get to see this every day on a, on a YouTube channel. Flying pen roach. We got another female Pampopedia species, Makala. Hair kicking little shits. What's his hair kicking little shit? Oh, dude. You don't mess with the best. These are the best. Killing anyway. Watering my tarantulas. I get viral people. <laughs> He's got a mouthful. Check out that mouthful. She's got a mouthful. Got a sheep. I'll also be giving away free species McCullough's if I can ever get them up to size or when I get them up to size. Breeding and stuff. And stuff. 
Mm. I found the like button. That's awesome. Nathan, I appreciate that, buddy. I don't know what it does for me to have likes, but the fact that I, uh, appreciate you guys liking this. Let me put this up here. Pull down a few more badass fighters real quick. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on. They are kicking hair all over. We got one more Makala. Now there's another Makala over there. I got extra amounts of Makala. I want y'all to see these McCullough are so freaking badass. They're too badass not to watch. Now, right here because I've got to get some water in here. I got one bucket of water. Like watching Richie's get eat. I'll eat some more butters for you guys for a moment. Hopefully, it won't go nowhere. In a moment. Okay, working my train shed. For a big crunchy orange head. Are you kidding me? No one thought about eating that, but decided against it. So. A little bit smaller. Yeah. Maybe it's just not hungry. I'm going to see that or not. Uh, maybe it's not hungry. It's got some water now, though. I have a little bit to start with. It. I'll make sure and check your uh, tarantulas and closures this winter. Oh, if you got winter, I don't have no winter here. It's 90 to 100 degrees every day here. That sucks. Well, it is. Do a badass tarantula. I'm going to attack that. Hey, Roots. I'll tell you, y'all see that? Y'all see that stuff? That's not bad ass MVP and cool. I don't know what it is. I've eaten more worms, a little. I've eaten so much weird shit, you don't even want to know. <laughs> Get, I got lost in the desert for two years. Never seen another human being, so you can imagine all the shit I eat when I was out there in the Sahoran desert. Sonoran Desert. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You seeing this attacking going on? You seeing all this attacking? This is A, large and uncharged. A Canthoscuria geniculata. You guessed it. Dun, 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 dun. Go one just for nothing. Ready? Shit, it's hitting the fan. Oh, oh, oh. Say it was hitting the fan, or did I say it was hitting the fan? All you gotta do is dangle it above that bad boy. That bad girl. Bad girl, bad girl. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'll stop right there so I don't sing some dirty stuff. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna need to rage tonight. I'm just put it in my mouth through the pistol sir. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, we so caught that on camera. This is a seriously pissed off individual. Calm yourself. 
am on live, you're not going to make me look small in front of my fans. Calm your ass down. Okay. Let me get that mean. Mean spider. Something to eat. Oh. Not very hungry, I guess. Sperm web in there. This is a Nandu. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yep, I'm gonna piss him off too much. Might break a thing. Yeah, there's, there's a, it can be very profitable breeding spiders. All right, I paid $800 for one spider in my life. And not everybody's going to pay $800 for a spider. You know, the piece of Letharia Metallica. Paid $800 four years ago. I've been trying to breed them recently, but I don't have a male right now, but I'm going to. And they went down in value because when something's new, everybody wants it. And after the newness wears off, and there's a lot of them out there, they get a little bit more cheaper. So... I can sell them around 60, 60 to 100 bucks, depending on the size and stuff. So they have 300 babies at three or $100 a pop. You can, uh, you can figure this profit to be made. It's not an easy thing, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. If you're breeding a lot of them, if you just want one species. You just want one species that you got to concentrate on. Kick ass with it. This species right here, I'm feeding. You have thousands of babies. Thousands of babies. Um, lots of money to be made. I'm just going to leave that in there. That's a mature male, also. Mature male Nando, Alarato Velocis. Number two. This is number two. Yeah, I'll let them take care of. Got a bit of groom up here. Maybe you guys will want to see this bad girl. She's totally a badass. I'm not really in the trenches for the money there. They're just so rare and killing the shit out of them, and I love them. So I, uh, I do sell them. I got a lot of them up for sale right now, but a lot of my breeders, I keep breeding. This is a vinegar rune. I love this thing. It's a vinegar rune, what it looks like. You can get a little rich. Grab a rich real quick. Give me a second. You're going to want to see this thing eating. Right, I hope you, know you can see. Yep. Fighting it, fighting for it. And they got it. <laughs> That's a vinegar ring. It's uh, also known as a whip scorpion. It shoots some kind of acid out its tail that smells like apple cider vinegar. Yep. So if you're out in the desert and you can manage to grow a salad, you just take one of them and sprinkle a tail over the top of your salad. You will be good to go. I eat the shit out of stuff. Just harmless, completely harmless. It can't hurt you at all. No matter what, it cannot hurt you. I love them. Oh, I got so many mature males that are going to go to waste because nobody seems to have any. I got a mature male. I can, what is it? Mature male pit, Paternio palmasesimi. Also commonly called a piece ass. That's a blue beauty right there. He's trying to be a psycho. Give him some water. Shit. Boy. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, see what happens in here. Yeah, shit. Oh, fuck. 
And not want that to happen. When stuff like that happens, get it back under control like that. Damn, I'm flexible with my fat ass. Look at that. Kind of water now. Panic, that's the biggest thing. Panic. Shit goes wrong. I hope all that came through. Okay, so you guys can see. All right, are you done for a minute so I can be here? It's like all of a sudden. I'm good. Anybody still see what's going on there? No telling what you guys want to see on the wall. So just wait for me, man. I shut it because. Get over there. Whoa. Almost going on an hour. I'm going to do this OBT for you guys and gals. It's another one of my favorites. Check this out. Because you got the whole damn thing lit up. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, that ass. She don't think it's something to eat, she thinks it's something to fight off, so there she goes. There she goes. Y'all see that? This is the Usambra Orange Baboon Terror and Tula. Also known as the orange body thing. That's the one that likes to take long strolls on the balls and hide in my pocket. True story. It's on this channel. Check it out. Yeah, I highly venomous. They say they bite you in your fingertip and it'll hot your old arm like a fever for three months. You'll be puking and muscle spasm and all kinds of weird shit. Thank God she didn't bite me, old boy. I've been around. All right, my friends. They jump high. They probably can jump high, but it, if you notice, a lot of them don't want to leave their container. The Katrina Powell, my size of my did for some reason. I have no idea what the issue was. Maybe I just caught him off guard or something. But most of the time, they want to stay in their home because they don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the roach fins in. But my spiders eat them. Um, let's see. I've ate mealworms too, these teas. So them. They're, uh, they need to be cooked. Yeah, here's my, well, my spider was looking at me like she was jelly. So I had to give it to her. She just got brushed with bread. She needs the uh, she needs the substance. So um, not only Atlanta fins in. Which is that I, I raise here does not carry diseases and stuff like the ones in Atlanta or anywhere else in America. American cockroaches and German cockroaches living in America are freaking disgusting. Yeah, if you have teeth and you crunch them up, it'll be good. But you swallow live worms and they make it down to your stomach lining. They can't eat a hole in it and really screw you up. I know that because I, I, I was eating cornbread one time. When we got a mealworm shipment, and Sarah's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. she was kind of picky about them, so I was breaking her in, and I just grabbed a handful of mealworms and they sh <laughs> the oatmeal and shit. They came in and put them in my mouth with a cornbread and swallowed them whole like a egg roll. And she got where she wasn't really scared of them and about eat a hole in my stomach. Yeah, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> Mm 
fins in. All right, y'all don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate y'all watching. It is, we're 50 minutes in. We got rattlesnakes here. I'll do another feeding video for you guys with them soon. All right, there's. Let me get some rattlesnake action going. She don't rattle much anymore. For some reason. I can't hardly make her rattle because she's just so used to me. I am itching everywhere. Itching all over more than anywhere else. So. Rattlesnake sausage today. I uh, I never had rattlesnake sausage, but I have had it deep fried. It's absolutely delicious. I'll have to try that one day. Uh, that thing is there ain't very many rattlesnakes around here. People just kill the shit out of them and throw them away and waste them. I would definitely try rattlesnake sausage. Oh, I'm itching because of the Pampavidia species Makala. They kick urticating hairs, and I got some right here underneath my eye. If they get in your eye, they can blind you, which is not good. And some on my arm, some on my other arm, and then the Nandu Colorado Velocis also haired me. And the between the palma sides of my some tarantulas, New World tarantulas, kick up urticating hairs. That's why I prefer Old World tarantulas, which has a higher venom potency. But I've never been bit except one time on camera, and I think that was because. Uh, it was using its fangs to pull itself out of its shed when I was helping it on a previous video. But uh, I don't want you don't want to scratch a urticating hair. It's better to just I'm just gonna shower off, and get rid of that chain my clothes. Um, I'll be sure and check back with my channel later today because I'm gonna start uploading this video when I get done about the gay um, Monocentropus balfouri. It's uh, it's Tarantula Gay Pride Day, so uh, I wanted to share, share that with you guys. Silly badass. Yeah, they're not uh, they're not really. I mean, I don't think they're dangerous. I handle some of the most dangerous tarantulas ever. I've never really been bit. Um, not really. Not out of meanness or anything. Um, I don't have a tarantula that I haven't handled. I don't. Let's see what we got here. I'll try to set this up where I can show you one before we get. This spider hasn't been held in a while. Anything could happen. We'll see what happens though. It could try to bite, or it might not. I'm just deciding I don't want to bite. It's just being skittish. I'm scaring it out of its home. <laughs> I'm scaring it out of its home. I'm going to try to grab hold of it. I'm going to try to grab it and not get get uh, get it hurt or anything. This is a carabiner particular here. Um, I love these tarantulas people. They uh, they got a bad they got a bad uh reputation. They're harmless, or I'm concerned. This is the mature male. I'm going to be breeding him with the mature female very shortly, and we'll have little babies of these. And these are interesting because when they're older, they got red fat hair on their legs and their abdomen. And then their carapace is a green. Oh, I'm sorry, a greenish blue, and uh, that's pretty sweet. These can do urticating hairs, but they're not very uh, bad. The largest one I have in my collection right now, I'll show you. She's also bred. Come on, buddy. Look, they just, they get it back into his thing. Absolutely. Harmless. Fine. Harmless and fine, friends. Can't help but love something that's so freaking cold. Can you? Can you? Am I right or am I right? All right. Here's the biggest one I have on hand right now. This is the Lassadora Perihibana. She is gravid and going to be having babies very shortly. We're having an egg sack very shortly. If you didn't see earlier, I do breed spiders. I bred these. This is my latest egg sack right now. Let me get them moving for you guys. These are Serotegrius Berlinga. 
and they are around 20 bucks a piece and there's 135 of them so tarantulas can be profitable yeah i got some of those gives as large as dinner plate actually that's not the largest one i got i don't want to pull him out right now where is he yeah, I, I might completely not. I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to have to take a shower anyway. I'll show you. I got one as big as a dinner plate. I'm the only one in the world that has one that I know of. The only one in the United States that has one. I should say, not the world. They quit import of them. It's fucking sweat. My hair, the shit out of you. All right, watch. So some water in here for this stuff. This is a dinner plate size tarantula. It is a Pampabedia species Goliath. They're very rare. I'm going to try to manipulate it and move it a little bit so you can see how beautiful it is. Make sure you can't move it. And I just want to lift him up a little bit. See that? Very purple. Very big. Very big. Pampapedia species Macala. I mean, Pampapedia species go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. They're pissy too. He just struck it. Pampapedia species Goliath. Also known as the Santa Domingo Goliath. And they eat chicken. Um, I've dangled little bits of chicken on there and. Uh, they uh, they eat the hell of it. That's a lot of ninos, ninos, and babies. Yeah, and that is super impressive. Holy moly! Yeah, that that uh is. Uh, what about the breeder? It's with the uh, Mexican uh, and Adrian Cullen. Adrian Cullen is breeding that and right now it's on a 50 50 and babies are this big when they're born i do have one and mine is the steriposa sterma and then they also have a blonda or blondie sterma sterma blondie blonda which is the biggest one but mine's a sterma if i have some baby stermies for long they really kick hair a lot they require more things than the rest of the tarantulas do they have to have uh they have to have lots of humidity and they have to have lots of ventilation and that's a hard combination to be able to pull off so we can't keep them you can keep them with the proper humidity and temperature and everything everything will be fine they turn this back on put that on 76 degrees cooling these down a little bit it's been over 100 i'm fixing to get out of here my friends I wish you all peace, love, and happiness on all that good shit. Like, subscribe, take your friends, share my videos, watch more older videos while you wait for new videos. And y'all can look for the Edward Tindall logo when I'm traveling. And I'll have this big spider on my back window. And Edward Tindall, like, subscribe, and take your friends on my back of my truck. Y'all send me Hunk Your Horn or something. And uh, I will stop and say hi. I will be going to Georgia shortly. Um, on the 12th, 13th. I think it's like the 12th to the 14th at the Repticon. So y'all can uh, go see me there. Check me out. I'm fixing to go get a shower. I'm itching like hell. I took a super L tonight. <laughs> Good night, ZTs. The Spider Woman. Thank you all for watching. Edward Hendel, out. I'm going to figure out how to end this stream, and I'm going to be out. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. Um, there it goes.